Welcome to the third section of this course. In this section we will see what common administration tasks there are for our database. Common duties of a database administrator include backup, performance tuning and troubleshooting common problems. In this section we will first have a look at how we can perform basic troubleshooting when there is a problem with our database. Then we will learn about security topics and how we can configure our database to be more secure. In the third video, we will perform a very important task. We will perform backup and recovery of our database. And in the last video, we will then look at how we can optimize our queries by using query execution plans. So, let's get started with our main topic for this video, basic troubleshooting. In this video, we will troubleshoot the MySQL database in three areas. First, we will have a look at what log files we can use to troubleshoot the database. Then, I will show some common examples of problems that we can easily fix, such as resetting the root password or having too many connections. So let's get started by looking at what log file we can use to determine where there is a problem. The most important file to start diagnostics is the MySQL error log. Despite its name, this file does not only contain errors, but also useful diagnostics information. You can find out where this file is located by looking at the variable log underscore error and this file typically can be found in var log mysqld.log. In most cases, this file will already tell you when there is a problem with your database. If you cannot connect to your database, either after the installation or during normal operations, you can use the following checklist to narrow down the most common problems. First, make sure MySQL is running. If you can confirm that MySQL is then running, check the error log of MySQL to see if there is a visible problem. The file should quickly tell you if there are any problems with the database. If there are no problems indicated in this log file, then you probably have a problem with your configuration and the MySQL server is running fine. So first, check if the MySQL database is listening on the correct network interface. For this, I usually use the netstat tool. You can find an example of how to call this tool on the slides. If you can confirm that MySQL is listening on the correct network interface, then also check if maybe the firewall is blocking your requests. With these steps, you should at least be able to talk to the database. So, a common problem is that you might have forgotten the password for the user root. So, this is a problem when you want to administer the database, but as long as you can access the database server locally, we should be able to reset the password. To reset the root password, proceed as follows. First, log into your MySQL server and stop the MySQL daemon. Then, restart the MySQL server on the command line using the command mysqld skip grant tables and this will start the MySQL server without a password for any user. Then we can log into MySQL without providing a password by simply issuing the command MySQL. And once connected to the server, load the grant tables. And then after you have done that, you can use the alter user command to reset the password of the root user. After we have reset the password, Restart the server without the startup options and log in with your new password. On this slide I have summarized the commands necessary to reset the root password. So first, stop the MySQL server with the systemctl command. Then, restart the MySQL server using the command line provided here. Then we can log in without providing a password, load the privileges table and change the root password to something new. Then we can restart the server normally and log in with our new password. Another common problem is that there are too many simultaneous connections to your MySQL server. This will then result in the error message, too many connections, and you will not be able to connect to the database. The reason for this error is simply that your database is configured to only allow a certain amount of simultaneous connections, and that amount of connections is too low for your workload. The amount of allowed simultaneous connections is defined in the MySQL variable 
max connections. Default value for this variable is 151 connections. To increase the amount of simultaneously allowed connections, change this variable to a higher value, for example 200 or 300. Once you are connected to the database, you might encounter problems such as access denied and table does not exist. But when you're sure that the table does exist, these errors usually indicate missing privileges and you should check the privileges of the user accessing these tables. To check the privileges, use the show grants command and if necessary, grant the privileges using the grant command. So, let's summarize. In this video, we saw the most common problems and error messages for a MySQL database. We saw how we can access the MySQL error log, how we can troubleshoot connection problems, and how we can reset the root password. We also saw how we can fix the common too many connections error. This concludes this video.